Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and in today's video, you will learn about the context lib module. What is the context lib module anyway? The context lib module provides utilities for common tasks involving Python's with statement. Let's uh, look at how to create a context manager using context lib. So first, we're going to look at an example that you're probably familiar with. Here's just the with statement opening up a text file somewhere on your computer. You're going to assign that um, file object to fobject or fobj, and then you're going to write to it. Let's see how to do that using the context lib module. So here we do from context lib import context manager, and we're going to slap this onto a file open function. So you'll see this is a decorator at context manager. And in here, we do a try f object open, and then we're going to yield out the object. At that point, you can use it as fobject, and you can write to it and do anything else that you want, would normally do with a file object. If an error is raised, we catch it and print out that we had an error. And in the finally statement, we do f object dot close to close out the file. So this is basically what the with statement is doing in the previous example that we looked at which we can look at over over here. Here we have with open. And this with statement is basically doing what we're doing here in this uh, function with our context manager. We basically just recreated all the, me the machinations underneath the covers of the open function while using, using with. That's super cool. And this is a really easy way to just add a context manager uh, to a function. OK, let's talk about some of the other uh, cool tools that context lib provides for us, such as closing. The closing class uh, will close the thing upon the completion of the code block. What does that mean? Let's look at an example without using uh, the closing context um, class. So from context lib, we're going to import context manager again. And this time we're going to create a closing function that basically does what uh, the closing function does in context lib, but you'll see here in a minute that we can simplify this code a bit. Def closing, database, database.connection is yielded out if you're using a with statement. And when you're done uh, working with the database, you can close it out using db.close. This is just kind of a quick and dirty way to do, um, to create a context manager without creating a custom class where you're overwriting um, the double enter and double underscore enter and dunder uh, exit methods. So this is just a quick way to do that, using a more functional approach. If you want to use just closing, you can use it directly by just doing with closing. And in this case, I'm just using a, a URL as an example. But we could do that with the, the DB connection, too. So with closing, assign the object to a variable, process it, and it will close it automatically for you. This is just kind of a simple way to add um, a context manager, just something that doesn't already have it built in. I think URL open actually does have uh, context management built into it. But if it doesn't, this is an easy way to add it, a new way to add it to your own code too. OK, let's talk about using contextlib.suppress. The idea behind this context manager utility is that it can suppress any number of exceptions. A common example is when you might want to ignore the file not found error exception. So here's a non-working example. If I were to run this example, we try to open a file that doesn't exist, I would get an error. File not found. No such file or directory. If I wanted to ignore that error for some reason, I could use context lib suppress. And then I could say with suppress, ignore file not found error. And then if I run the code, nothing happens because I'm suppressing the file not found error. I don't know why, I really don't have a whole lot of reasons why I would use this, but I could see where you might want to use it like in a test case, uh, like in PyTest maybe, where you might not want an error to occur if the file doesn't exist. And I suppose if you wanted to harden your application so it didn't crash on your user, you could ignore the error and just display something to the user. Anyway, not the most useful tool in the, in the whole world, but I, I think you'll find this one much more useful. So context lib also provides a way to redirect standard out and standard error. Let's look at an example that doesn't use it first, though. 
So one way to redirect standard out and standard error is to use with uh, import sys, which I forgot to do here. So let's import it quick. Import sys and assign um, standard out to something else. So in this case, we're going to say sys.standardout equals uh, the FOBJ, which basically says we're going to write all the standard out to this text file at this point. This code doesn't work because this path doesn't exist. But this is the general idea. You would create um, a, a different place to redirect standard out, in this case a file. You could redirect it to some other locations too, like to a log or whatever. Normally you set sys.standard out to that object. And then anything that would normally print to standard out, like Python's help function, will now get written to the file. Um, let's look at how you do that with the context lib module. Here we import uh, redirect standard out or standard error. And then we can just say with open, with redirect standard out. And it will redirect everything to the file object that we just created here. And the nice thing about this is that the with statement will also reset uh, sys.standardout back to what it used to be. So it's not stuck always redirecting to um, the file object. And this can be really handy because sometimes you're going to close that file object and now you can't write anything to standard out. You're going to have a, an error because you've closed the file object. So you always have to remember if you do it the other way to reset sys.standardout when you're done using your file object. Otherwise, you're going to get this file has been closed and you'll get an error. If you use uh, redirect standard out, it's going to close it for you and you don't have to worry about that. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap up. In this uh, tutorial, we talked about uh, Context Lib's Context Manager for adding a Context Manager to a function. We uh, talked about adding the co closing class to uh, in the with statement, basically to add Context Lib me methods to uh, your code that doesn't already have one in it, it will just automatically close it for you. We talked about contextlib.suppress, which can suppress uh, exceptions that you may not want to, to catch right now. And finally, we talked about contextlib redirect standard out or standard error, where you can redirect um, sys.standardout or standard error to a file or some other object. Uh, there are other things in contextlib, so feel free to check out the documentation and see what else um, I didn't cover in, in this particular tutorial. But for now, uh, just thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.